Well, everyone on the campus was exotic. Uh, they were they were just going wild with excitement. We were playing Oregon, and the the winner of the Oregon Oregon State game would go to the Rose Bowl. Beavers and ducks with a trip to the Rose Bowl on the line. On November 29, 1941, Oregon State College defeated Oregon 12-7, punching the Beavers' ticket to Pasadena. When we got back on the campus, there was a tremendous amount of energy here for celebrations. And to uh, go to the Rose Bowl, uh, it, it was a th real thrill for everybody. Everyone started talking about it. We're all going down to the Rose Bowl. Everyone from the campus was somehow or other going to go down there. Everyone was excited. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Eight days later, Japanese forces launched a surprise attack on the U.S. base at Pearl Harbor. America was now at war. The shadow of further Japanese attacks forced the U.S. to cancel all large gatherings on the West Coast, including the Rose Bowl. The War Department says no big crowds gathering on the West Coast. So the game was canceled. Everybody was down and low. But as cancellation loomed, Duke, the Beavers' opponent, offered to host the game 2,500 miles away in Durham, North Carolina. All of us were just completely put down. Uh, how are we going to ever get to Durham, North Carolina? Three days later, Oregon State players boarded a train dubbed the Beaver Express for a cross-country road trip to the relocated Rose Bowl. We went down to the train here on 4th Street in Corvallis, got on the train and go all the way back and came to Durham. The Beavers entered the game as two touchdown underdogs. Oregon State was very much underdog and they were upset about it. I was close friends with several of the players. They said uh, we'll prove that we're a better team than they think we are. The attitude of our players was so determined and so dedicated that it, when we're dressing for the ball game, <laughs> Don Durden, I'm sitting beside him dressing and he pulled down to tie his shoes, and he busted the shoestrings. When we moved to Durham, North Carolina, that made the odds even more in favor of Duke. Uh, as far as the press and the media were concerned, they were more interested in uh, how great Duke was and how, much the, how bad were they going to beat Oregon State. But on a rainy day in Durham, Oregon State College never trailed winning the Rose Bowl by a score of 20-16. Durden was left-handed and Bob Deathman was right-handed and they both played in the backfield and you never knew what they were going to do, but they were both expert runners, good, tough runners. They're the ones that, along with a determined bunch of guys on the line and on defense, made sure that Oregon State wasn't going to be humiliated. Metaphorical battles on the gridiron turned to the very real battles of World War II, where many members of the team fought to end oppression in Europe and the Pacific. This Saturday, we honor the heroes of the 1942 Rose Bowl, the Oregon State Beavers, the men of roses.